Alright guys, welcome back to another mCreator tutorial. So today what we're going to be looking at is how to use file manager to zip files and unzip them. There's a different, there's a few different def uh, methods to actually do this. There is the um, array list, which you will need the array list plugin for that. And then there is the unzipping and then zipping a file and then a zipping a folder as well. So these ones are pretty self-explanatory. You can use these with the base program. The array one, you will need a third-party plugin for, um, but the system is pretty much the same. So we'll cover uh, the unzipping and all the different features in just a second. So the first thing that we need to do is basically make sure that we have a file specified. And this is going to be important for getting the file location and all that stuff. So when we do that, we need to make sure that anything with the file thing that it says, like local file, that we need to have that set up for this. So in this case, we're going to start with a file because this one's easier to actually explain. And then we'll go into the other thing. So as you can see here, we need a path for this. This is the path for literally the where, what the file name of the zip file will be. It's not where the for the file itself to zip. So keep that in mind. The file that you're zipping is from the file variable. That's what you will be basically zipping. So for the unzip, what we need to do is we need to basically get the same path and then we're going to go ahead and unzip that at the same location. And then once we have that set up, we can go in game and um, take a look. So make sure that you have a path set up for the file to be unzipped. Uh, this needs to be specified. Uh, we're going to call it something like this and I'll just put dot zip just to kind of demonstrate something of uh, how you don't need the dot zip on it because it's not a file it's a folder so we'll go into game and um, check that out right now so I think that's about it uh, just to kind of clarify from all these points uh, all the time each time I test in game I'm going to make sure that the work workspace has only those files in it so what we're going to do is we're going to do slash zip or just zip and then it should zip the file and as you can see we have a my file here and that's our file that we zipped so that works now let's test the unzipping so we'll go back to minecraft and then we'll just type unzip and then we'll test to see what what basically happened so we have a file here you can see that it has dot zip at it uh, again it's not a file so you don't need the extension you just need the um, basically the file name. All right, so that's basically that part. Uh, let's take a quick look at how to customize this for um, basically how it should be. So we should basically just specify the folder name. Uh, in this case, what we would do is we would basically just add a slash and then the name of the, the file folder that we want to put it into or the folder name. So in this case, uh, what I'll be testing next is basically uh, just folder name for the thing. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is basically show you the difference between a f zipping a file and zipping a folder. So we'll quickly uh, change some of these things around. Now I did try to do this with a dot zip but it didn't really work so I made some minor differences and I just got rid of the um, the dot zip part just kept the folder the same. We already have a folder in there that's called uh, the same thing as the player, so we can zip that. And then we, I basically ran another test. So in game, I just um, ran zip and then it zipped the folder. So we'll go and take a look at that first. So just let me get me. All right, so there we go. So as you can see, we got the folder here we have those two files and then we have the folder inside and then the two files in here so this method basically works to actually zip folders uh, you don't need the extension for zipping a folder but you do need it for zipping a file so keep that in mind now let's test on zipping and we'll see that the file name is actually proper so you can do it using that method as well um, but yeah outside of that uh, there wasn't 
too much. Uh, other things that I needed to cover for that part. We'll be covering something a little bit more uh, advanced next uh, episode for um, saving items and stuff to the config file, but uh, definitely tune in for that next week. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.